Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to make a virtual machine on this ESXi box. So let's get to it. So we're making a Windows Server 2019 virtual machine. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on virtual machines. Create a VM. Create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to give this a name. So let's see. This is going to be the Windows Server 2019 Zero Virtual Machine because why not? And uh, it's going to be Windows, and we will find uh, Windows Server 2019 64-bit. Make this virtual machine AFI and secure boot available. Make this hardware virtualization AFI. I don't think we're going to use that feature. So we'll just click next. And I want this to be on my 3 terabyte SSD. Next. So CPU. Uh, so CPUs, uh, we have one CPU one socket and four cores. The virtual CPUs to a virtual machine depend on the number of licensed CPUs. Okay, so uh, we have one socket and we're gonna have four cores on that virtual socket. Enable CPU hot, add. we don't need that. I'm gonna leave this machine with no Reservation. I'm going to leave everything as default here. Memory. I would like to give this um, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's do gigabytes and let's do 8. And uh, hard drive space, let's do gigabytes. And let's do mm, how much memory can we possibly need for this thing? Well, let's be on the safe side and give it like uh, and let's give it two hundred. Two hundred gigabytes. I mean, we can change the size. Uh, later but we're gonna thin provision this so that way it'll expand as needed shares normal iSCSI iSCSI controller is zero that's fine disk sharing is possible ego zero thing we're not sharing anything this can be default USB controller so network I don't want a network adapter. I'm going to add a network adapter later. So we're going to delete that. And this is going to be a data store ISO. And we're going to grab that ISO. And video settings, what do we have here? And number of displays, 4 megabytes. And. Uh, that should be adequate. So let's double check what we are working with. Not a virtual hardware, VM options. So VM remote console, expand VMware tools. That's okay. This is okay. Power management. Okay. 
boot options. EFI, that's exactly what I wanted. No boot delay. Advanced enable logging. Yes, we want that. Swap location. Uh, we can use defaults. That's good. So we have everything we want. Let me double check. No reservation. We're not going to be. We're not going to be virtualizing on this. So I'm not going to expose the hardware virtualization uh, flag, but we will be using this later for other virtual machines. Hyper threading active. I'm not going to set affinity. This is a lab. Next summary. Windows Server 2019-0, because computer starts counting at zero and ends counting at one. <laughs> so three terabyte SSD, Microsoft Windows are doing well. This is good, this is good, this is good. Uh, no network adapter is exactly what I wanted. Everything good. Then provisioned. And um, could copy these settings for some future reference if you like. So I'm going to do that because we have that capability. I'm going to paste that off screen. So that's going to be. Okay, uh, we're ready to finish this. And I believe it has been completed. So we have a virtual machine. Uh, and uh, we can now power it up. Um, hmm. Let's try that again. Actions. Send. Uh, where is that thing? Uh, and send keys. Control Alt Delete. There. And we press the any key as fast as we can. Okay, so uh, we'll click on next, click on install now. And you click on your uh, on the addition you would like. So let's do that. This option solves a full server environment. This option emits the Windows Graphical One managers with command prompt and PowerShell remotely. Windows admin center and other tools. I would like to have the full fat version of Windows for this for this machine. We might need that at some point. Next. I accept license next. 
custom install next this is pretty much like we installed windows uh on um on the regular computer so i'm going to go ahead and pause this until some action is needed and then i'm going to resume recording Okay, so at this point, the machine restarted, the virtual machine restarted, and it is um, getting some stuff ready. Let's see if uh, how long this will take. It shouldn't take too long. Restart it again. And uh, we need to uh, put in a password. Where am I typing? I'm not typing. There. And we click finish. Send all control delete. Uh, I guess those send keys, send all control delete. And we have uh, our password. There we go. Try Manager Windows Admin Center. Okay. Close this thing. Close this thing. So, one last thing we need to do, and that is to install VM tools. So, we'll do that now. Actions. And where is this thing? Uh, Guest OS. Install VM tools. So now it's going to there. Uh, it's going to give the virtual machine an ISO with VM tools on it. So we'll just go ahead and double click on this installation. And we will go to next. We want typical and install. And we'll finish. And we will restart. And we will go ahead to guest OS, send keys, control alt delete. And we can go ahead and uh, put in our password. And that's it. Now we're ready to work with this virtual machine. Uh, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you, this uh, this video was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.